19 what? 1969 Jigger from Great Grandpa, right? Yeah, so basically it came and it was, um, it had holes in the bottom and cracks and stuff, and it was sitting in the shed for a while. Sitting outside, means. actually, been sitting in the barn. Outside well, the barn for probably 20 years. Mm -hmm. So it was full of water, nice, for 20 years, and so all the innards were junk, right? Yep. So we're... First, we took a, um, a Dixon, and then we took and we took a, all the cover off and everything, and then we put the Dixon's flame inside, yep. and we kind of fixed up the flame to make it modified for the Jigger. The Jigger doesn't have a frame, so we had to make a frame. So it didn't really have a flame. So we just used the fiberglass body. So yeah, we body. made we made we just used the fiberglass body, and we pretty much made cha chain tensioners, and we put the chains back on, and then after that we. Um, we had a foot, our first engine broke down, so we had we a bought a new one, so yeah, let's we shoot in here, Cameron, a little bit. You can see the, the new motor and the Dixon transaxle. We got some chain tensioners, we built a frame and then a new floor, and we put an axle frame on it, aluminum, so and it would reinforce and tie all the... how it turns is zero turning radius, which means if you go like that, it'll go right around. Yep. Um, it won't have one like that, like a car does. Um, so if you turn it this way, these wheels spin and these wheels... Um, so one wheel goes spin. forward, one wheel goes backwards. Yeah. So it makes them go forward, this could go backwards, or both backwards, or both forwards, right? Yeah, and then this is the emergency brake. Yeah, parking brake. But, and then these right there, we, those right there, are in case, because in the summertime you might have sandals or something on. Keeps it chain. And it keeps it, yeah, so just basically a chain guard. Okay. And then we fixed up that in there. Okay, so let's start it up. So now you got the chance to see the jigger in action, right, Logan? What's it like to ride drive it? Um, it's well, it's not it's not very hard to drive it. You kind of when you push forward, you got to be careful though on the grass. You got to turn it gradually, otherwise it'll because the wheels, um, like you said, they dig in. Yep. They're well, not like the original ones. One of the problems is these wheels are treaded too heavily. The original wheels had the more chevron tread, which was meant to go sideways as well as forward. Um, you can see down here we tied the we tied all of the. Uh, the bearings together with an aluminum uh, frame on the outside and then on the inside we connected it with another frame channel to support what was left or what we had modified from the original Dixon or the Dixon mower which came out perfect the actual Dixon drive sprockets are the same width as the inside of the jigger so I was able to get a fabricate a double pulley or excuse me a double sprocket uh, for number 35 chain to go forward and backwards because it actually has three chains on each side so there's three tensioners on each side um, we changed the gear ratio slightly so it slowed down a bit from what the original Dixon was, and it works pretty well. I mean, it's a six and a half horse motor, so it, it is what it is as far as the speed goes, but it turned out pretty good, right? Yeah, there, there was one problem though. Remember, um, there was, uh, oh, We ended up welding the sprockets on yeah, because the, the original design has a shear pin on each one of them, so we just tacked a weld around each sprocket so that wouldn't give us any trouble anymore. Other than that, we recovered the seat. Yep. And that's about it. Other than that, I think it worked pretty good. We got to try waterproofing it and see if it uh, see if it'll go in the water this summer. Yeah.